going on people welcome back to my channel you know the score it's been a long time you know what i mean just been trying to get my mind right and stuff like that but now we've got our civil liberties back been working on a few things should be back in the studio very very soon but yeah i've got my guy lufa i mean still waiting for his match pleasure what's really good maji it's still waiting what this is like what my 26th appearance now so <laughs> <laughs> There's still no match ball, yeah? Tell me about it, mate. Tell me about it. But yeah, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank yeah, you very much man. for having me, man. No worries, no worries, man. But yeah, anybody that's new to this channel, uh, make sure you, you know, follow and subscribe to the channel. You know the score, TV. You know what I mean? Follow me, Shingy underscore LDN on Twitter and Instagram. Follow Luther as well, GS Training Limited, if you want to someone to be your personal trainer for the football channel YKTS Football on Twitter and Instagram and like I said subscribe to the channel it only takes two seconds but yeah Luth on Sunday evening we was hit with a bombshell a bombshell you indeed the big six in the Premier League have agreed to sign up to um, well the breakaway league the European Super League uh, which is being funded by JP Morgan yeah, what do you make? What do you make of this uh, this bombshell? Yeah, it's, it's it's been coming though. It's been coming. It's mm. been coming. We can't we can't be too surprised. Um, it has been it has been coming. We've been seeing the um, I guess the rumors have been slowly escalating, and obviously now they've come out and said it's here. Um, at the time, it sounded. It sounded all right. I was intrigued because you go, oh, like imagine, you know, all the top teams were to play together regularly and we'll kind of see how good Bayern Munich is. We'll see how good Real Madrid is. We'll see how good Barcelona is. But now when you actually speak about it, when, it, when it's come to fruition and you realise actually this makes no sense whatsoever, especially now we know there's going to be no relegation, there's going to be no promotion. The teams that get involved, the players may not even now be able to go and represent their their clubs. Uh, sorry, their their national teams. Oh. So this is now you know no Euros, no World Cup, uh, potentially also no Champions League. Uh, so, so it just makes no sense. Like now you've got less trophies to win as a player. You've got less to fight for as a player. Um, yeah, it, it, it makes sense. Yeah, it's mad. So I'm just run through the actual proposed format so there'll, there'll be 20 participating clubs competing annually 12 clubs currently confirmed as the founding members we all know who they are in the premier league man united arsenal liverpool chelsea man city spurs how spurs are there without winning a, a league title since 1961 i don't know listen uh, how are we there how how are we there when we've only achieved one champions league final in like the last what however long we've been in there so it, 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 and even uh, since the last four years we've not we well almost five well, almost five six years now we've not been in the Champions League as well this shambolic so, yeah it's I mean, just absolute blasphemy, blasphemy people, people on the socials are just saying Arsenal and Spurs are just happy to be there still and that Arsenal don't have the capacity <laughs> to compete Listen, I was, I was, I, of course we are of course we are I think we just realised what we can get how much 300, 300 million mm. you know what I mean and, that, and that's and that's just to participate, let alone actually win anything. So mm. that then takes a lot of pressure off us to then constantly try and get top four, having to spend the money to get top four mm. and just be participants in the Champions League. Mm. Um, so, you know, you can kind of see where they're coming from, but equally, it's just like, it's just embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. And it'll be very interesting to see how things unfold um, mm. as, as time goes on, because obviously we're seeing now players are coming out and they're expressing their disappointment with 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 this particular with this project. So it, it's it's going to be weird. It's going to be, it's going to be weird to see how things um, move forward because obviously you know I'm sure we're going to talk about it as well Jose Mourinho, whether they sacked him because of results, um, you know, a week before cup final. Um, how true is that? Obviously, we don't really know. But equally, if that is something that may have been a contributor to him leaving the club where he didn't agree with doing the Super League. Other managers got to be careful as well, you know. Oli's got to be careful. Arteta's got to be careful. Pep's got to be careful. So 
It'll be it's interesting. Kind of like, be this interesting. whole situation kind of makes the, the the league now irrelevant. Like it's like watching these games yeah, and points because in twelve months' time they're not going to mean anything because obviously no, they're, they're, they're trying to get this Super League to start as early as August or September this year if they can finally push it through, um, mm. which is strange. And what I don't get here is that basically they still want to compete in the Premier League, but obviously have these uh, have these uh, games during midweek. But clearly, obviously, because there's going to be no kind of like promotion and relegation, it's like, well, what? What relevance does the Premier League have now? Yeah, exactly, exactly, and and where they're not going to be in any domestic cups as well. Mm. You know how how do you even run the squad? Where do the youngsters come in? Where do you break through a lot of the youth players? Where do you give opportunities? Where do you even look to buy players? Because mm. if you're not going to be a part of uh, this league where you're playing literally week in week out the best teams in Europe, you know, you're no longer having to just like try to get a little signings here and there. You're going to try literally buy off your opposition. But I don't so think nah, they transfer. transfers though. I think they'll, they'll have the so, NBA kind of NFL type model where it, it it's a draft system because the way with these... You have to explain that. Work, so the way these owners work, yeah, in America, in America they don't buy, they don't buy players. They go through a draft mm. system. Do you know what I mean? And they they obviously they buy a, a player, well, uh, a commodity as such here yeah, for a certain amount of time on their contracts. So, for example, LeBron James will be tied down to a contract for like, what, five years? Yeah. And then they'll pay him X amount for those five years. But they don't yeah, yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah. say, okay, yeah, we're going to purchase, we're going to purchase... Um, who can I say? He was ugh, flipping Carmelo Anthony for fifteen million pounds. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, that's, yeah, and, that, yeah. and they came out and said that they said that they can't they they can't understand the concept of relegation. They can't understand the concept of of transfers, which is just so. It's just this Americanism, which is ugh, honestly, I, for me, it's an absolute it's an absolute joke. Of course, you don't understand yeah, it. Nah. You, you you don't value the history and traditions of the way you, the European football model is set. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It's just money. It's just cash cow. Even 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 the fact that JP Morgan is taking over, mm. you know, it, it kind of it kind of says it all. Because at the end of the day, they they I think they're in a they're in a they're in a accounting um company. So they 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 that's all they work with. They work with banking. They they know how to make money, and that's the main thing that they're gonna look to get out of this. Mm. So it's not as if like. We're trying to entertain fans because, again, like, bro, the prices for tickets, you're telling me literally all season you're playing big teams. That alone is a premium when we when we, when we when we get the chance for, for, for a Premier League game when we see in our own clubs. Because the same way you want to see the Manchester derby, we're never going to be as much as seeing United against Leeds or a United against Sheffield United. But guess what? What makes football such a great sport is the fact that that Sheffield United game mm. could possibly give more entertainment than a derby, exactly. you know, or even when you look at the FA Cups, you know, you've got some of these teams that are coming from League Two, coming from South Conference, that can still try and move to some of the big boys. Mm -hmm. And now it's just going to be completely obsolete. Yeah. You know I mean? And if you look at the Champions League, mm. you're going to see the likes of West Ham, Wolves, Leicester in the Champions League. You know, against Villarreal, <laughs> against all these other teams that are like coming through. And that's the Champions League. And we were all laughing at the Europa, being like, ah, oh, you know, the Europa is kind of like the back end of the Champions League. Whereas if this goes through and, you know, the UEFA are, are, are saying what they're saying, where if you're not going to drain that, then don't even bother coming to the Champions League. Mm. And the standard of the Champions League is going to drop. And that's just going to have a ripple effect yeah, going definitely. down the tournaments, going down the leagues. You know, it just makes it just makes no sense. It makes no sense. Mm. And it's just getting rid of the, like you said, the competitive nature. Like, because I said that one of the things that I like about the way the football pyramid is set up now, yeah, is the unpredictability. Like, you could be uh, vying for a Premier League title, right? You could be, let's say, for example, two points behind the leaders 
um, with a game in hand. You've gone to Stoke or Burnley on a cold, wet Tuesday night. It's windy, it's cold. You know, the changing rooms are horrible. Do you know what I mean? They've taken the lead 1-0. Mm-hmm. It's the 85th minute you've been watching the game thinking, we need to get this win, man. Do you know what I'm saying? And you, you can't yeah. see where a goal's coming from. And then you score two goals in the in the last two, in the last five minutes. Like you said, them type of games can be more entertaining than a big six game. You can get more satisfaction from that. Do you know what I'm saying? And mm. that um that unpredictability is is, is going to go now. Do you know what I'm saying? Or for for example, you're not going to get stories like whereby Leicester they were in League One, and then over the course of what like what eight years. They managed to get themselves into the Premier League and win the pre- and win the Premier League title on on, on limited yeah. resources. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're not gonna get well, stories anymore. Even 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 with saying that, sorry to cut you off there, yeah. but we'll probably get that more now. But it it doesn't come it doesn't come with the expense or it doesn't come with that kind of added suspense rather mm. that they still had to get past United. Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal. It, that would literally be now. They will start the leagues with the, Ast- the Aston Villa and all these teams just coming through. And who the, who are the big six now? West Ham, Wolves. <laughs> you know, and, and and that's where again it just and that's no disrespect to to, to a lot of the mid table teams or the ones that are now starting to break through into the top four, top six, rather. But again, you you. When you look at the Premier League, that's the first thing that comes to mind. When you think of the big players, the biggest players, the best players to grace the Premier League, they've all played at the biggest clubs. Yeah. You know, we're not going to be talking about the next 20 years of, of how R- 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 Richardson, of how great he was. Hey. <laughs> For real, man. For real. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? We're not going to talk about like Sigurdsson, how great Sigurdsson was. You know how how you know how he graced the Premier League. You know we're not gonna look at like obviously Mark Noble. He, he's he's a great servant to, to West Ham and also the league with the amount of appearances he's racked up. We said, oh, sorry, mate. What's going sorry. on? Sorry, what about me? Sorry. Uh well, obviously we're just talking about the Super League. Tell, tell, yeah. tell us, tell us your thoughts on the Super League. Yeah, man. Super League. Yeah. I think of that absolute disgrace, mate. Mm. Disgrace, but but let me say something. Mm. You see the Premier League, yeah? They they're idiots, though. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you why. Because when they was put through the the Sky Sports box office and put fourteen ninety five during this pandemic, yeah, what are they saying? Mm. What are they saying? Yeah, no, the Premier cool? League they're they're not innocent either. I mean, they they yeah. kind of enabled this to happen as well in 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 a way. Yeah. Mm. I think every organization is selfish anyway. They only care about themselves, in my opinion. But yeah, it's all about but, money. Yeah, it's all about the money. But what? But what I'm gonna say is, let me ask you a question here. Yeah. Spurs. When have they been an elite football club? Oh, we just, we mentioned that at the beginning of the show. Oh, oh, I missed. I missed no, that. no, but go on, no, go on, go on, continue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they... how many elite players do Spurs have in their team? This makes me a uh, you, what super a super European league, you know? Yeah, how mm. many elite players do Arsenal have? Yeah, Boy. how many elite players do Man United have? Like these teams here, yeah, they got to question it. Man United have got an elite, elite, an elite brand, but when it comes to the players on the pitch, nah, no but, chance. Because that's what obviously they're trying to um, create is obviously a, a league full of franchises, isn't it? And the thing is. If we were if we were to create a counter argument for these 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 business owners, right? The thing for them is that they want to protect their investment and their investment yeah. with the club that they've spent money on. Do you know what I'm saying? So from a business perspective, it makes sense for them to try and get the best deal, which will give their clubs um, uh, a sustainable model going forward. Because a lot of these clubs have lost so yeah. much money even before the pandemic. I think in total of like 1.4 billion and during this pandemic god knows how long how much they've they've lost so for them they're just trying to protect their investment for example i'd say look arsenal yeah the league is becoming so competitive now yeah the premier league right to get it back mm-hmm. into the champions league i need to even compete let's say the owners stan Kroenke, yeah that prick he says okay i want to spend 200 mil on my team to get back into the Champions League, Arsenal end up finishing seventh. 
Where's the return there? And that's that's how obviously they're they're thinking selfishly, but that's the way these these you know these owners are are um yeah. are that, thinking. That's smart. That's smart. That's smart thinking, though. On the other hand, we spin it. The other hand, that is smart thinking. But this is what I'm saying, yeah, bro. Yeah, mm. it goes to show these clubs they don't care about fans, bro. They don't care about nah. them. And now, and now it's made it's made easier that fans are not being able to be at the at the stadium. So that's just one thing they just don't not necessarily don't need to worry about, but obviously it's not that it's not in their face. You know what I mean? It's not like every game they're still there and they're talking about because that would be a whole different conversation as well if fans were still going to stadiums and yet they still yeah. put this through. We'll see, yeah. we'll see boycotts like no tomorrow. But I think obviously yeah. because they haven't had that that extra that extra thing to think about with revenue and whatnot. Mm. You're telling me, cool, we're going to come in every season we're in this league, we're going to get 300 mil. Bro, fans cannot turn up in the stadium for as long as it needs to be. You know yeah, what I mean? Bro, 300 bro. mil. That's, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot to even try even like pass up, you know, unless you're even United, like United, because I, I saw today that you guys make something like 500 mil, 500 million a year? A year? Yeah, like? easy. Easy, which is mad, which is mad. Yeah. So when you even put that into perspective, why, why are you United getting involved, kind of thing? But because again, we're money talks, servicing money our talks. debt. We're servicing our debt. You got American owners. Where's the last? Can I ask you a question, um, Leif? Yeah. Where's the last hmm. time Stan Kroenke come to an, um, a game at the Emirates? I mean, before the pandemic. Well, you know what? I think this was when, if I remember correctly. It was one game where I think it Wenger. This was this was near the time Wenger was was in his last yeah. legs, and this is when the fans were just like, "Nah, we're not coming in because this is a joke." And then Kroenke came. He came. He came one or two matches. I can't remember which one it was, but it, to to fully answer the question, this guy never comes down. Even his son. His son tried to make a few cameo appearances here and there mm. and whatnot, but. Yeah, these guys, they, they don't care. They, they don't they care. Don't, they don't, he's putting four billion in, in, in the rounds. So, yeah, he, yeah. Like, yeah. You're absolutely right. For me, bro, I'm just I'm disappointed in this, bro. I, I, like, I just, like, Man United Football Club, Liverpool, Arsenal, bro, the history. And you want to do this mm. to us, bro? You want to do this to us, bro? Like, it's not good, man. Mm. I want to stick to what it's like, bro. Look, clubs like Leicester. Potentially playing Champions League football next season because they deserve it, mm. and we're and we're doing it's it's a joke, man. Yeah, it's a shame because like, it's football's not going to be based on merit anymore. The integrity is not going to be there. These games are going to be like exhibition matches because why? Why do you want to yeah, literally? Literally, who's like, going to go there? Who's going to go there midweek on a Wednesday evening? Mm. Go up to Bayern Munich. Go up to the New Camp. Go up to the Bernabeu. Who's who's going to do that midweek, bro, on a Tuesday night? Who's yeah. gonna really do that? You know yeah. what I mean? It's so it's almost like how we're seeing this division in 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 in, in the high class to, to low class again, and now in sports. Because I'm not gonna make these trips, bro. As much as I don't really see Arsenal Football Club as it is now, and that's and I'm around the corner. Let alone now, you want me to go and fly down all the way to to, to Paris, and I need to go all the way down to, to 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 Spain to see them on a Tuesday night for what? For what? Makes no sense logistically. It makes no sense, especially in the midst, in the in in the midst of the pandemic as well, with all these red list and green list and yellow list, amber list, or whatever list they want to keep putting up. <laughs> it, makes, it makes no sense. It makes no sense nowadays. It just honestly it makes no sense. Crazy, but they just they just they just want that money as, as soon as possible. Do you know what I mean to account for their losses, <laughs> ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you do you think uh, if they have this? European Super League and it was like I don't know like the World Cup kind of thing do you think people would accept that a bit more than rather it's going to be every season if you know what I mean oh if it was oh, like, okay. like, like every two like, years or every four years, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think people yeah. I think people would have been open to that and that would have been interesting do you know what I'm saying but then that puts that puts that whole nation the Nations League into perspective as well then because that Nations League is nonsense mm. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, not yeah a quali- it's not a qualifier. It's not a qualifier for any of the Euros or the World Cup. They're just putting it in there because people are getting annoyed about the international friendlies. The friendlies, friendlies, yeah. No, I think you do qualify though. I think if yeah, you you go up or something, you go yeah. yeah. You I think you, a, you, 
Yeah, what, for the Euros. Is, yeah, into the Euros. It's strange how I think. It's strange how it it is done. It's confusing. I mean, I'm not too. I'm, I'm not too. I'm not well versed on the rules in it, but yeah, the same. They, yeah, the way they've done that. I mean, obviously, like you said, they've tried to make it more interesting because the friendlies are dead. But like, I mean, maybe if they did it once every three years, people may take a liking to it. But the way these owners they they <laughs> They want to make it the you know the new mainstream league in Europe. You know what I mean? Mm, and yeah. they, they want that. They mm. want that money to to be returned every year. Yeah, big time, big time. It, it's just it's so, just gonna it's gonna it's just gonna be so detrimental to to, to the young kids coming up in the game. To even those stories where like the Ingo, the Ingolo Contes the 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 Mares, you know what I mean? Like you're not gonna hear them stories anymore, bro, because these teams are not gonna wanna go out there and and and, and try to find gems, hidden gems to come in and do and and come come in and improve this. But you're not gonna hear about the Vardy stories where man made it at like 28, 29, the Ian Wright stories back in the day as well. Yeah. Or even like the Horn Rees where man was at Juventus, didn't really do much. We brought him in and then he came in up being our top goal scorer. That's not gonna happen moving forward. Yeah, it's not. Teams are just going to keep just literally just trying to be like, cool, we're going to go for United's best player. He's going to come over here and it's yeah. just going to be swapsies all around. Yeah, it's crazy. And the implications that obviously UEFA and FIFA are proposing are a bit mad as well. They said, obviously, if they, if they if this goes ahead, then players that play in the, in the Super League won't be able to represent their countries in the World Cup or the Euros. And then they... The Super or people that are for the Super League said, "Well, we'll create our own World Cup Super League." I was getting petty, bro. I was getting petty. Mate, it's getting petty. It's, it's, mad. it's, 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 it's mad. It's mad. The, out, the outrage, bro. It's mad. I mean, when you compare this to, I don't want to go off topic, but like the way this thing has been highlighted, yeah. Mm. I don't know why racing don't get the same energy, but. You this know what? Crazy. You, you know yeah. what? You race it. Listen, the thing is, the thing, the thing is with racism, and this is what people need to realize, right? Is that racism doesn't affect these global institutions or these footballing glo- global institutions financially. Yeah. yeah and if, 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 if it does, if it does, it is a small percentage in com- in comparison to what this Super League is 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 uh, going to. Do to these what well, to UEFA and FIFA and the Premier League. It's, it's a small percent, and that's and that's that's the thing. They will, they see racism as a societal thing, so you know they will put that on the back burner and they won't show it. They won't give it the same energy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As opposed to yeah, this, right. which whereby these clubs, our football, our football league pyramid in our country and Europe, they're gonna take a massive financial hit if this goes ahead. And which is sad because you'd think racism would take precedent over football leagues. Football league, yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't because, yeah, because, it's, because it, you know, my, my, yeah, my one, one thing that I've learned in this pandemic is that basically it's all about finances first and then everything. Else, yeah. yeah. People, whatever. But if that, if that as well, no, no man, if that as well, bro, like, it's yeah, like, I, I couldn't echo any more what you guys are saying because at the end of the day, there's so much more that should be put in the in in the forefront, should be prioritised. Yet we're here talking about a fantasy league, essentially that's going to bring in a lot of money for those that are involved. You know what I mean? And 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 it comes at the expense of literally all of us that are here, literally loving the game. Like, imagine now playing FIFA and the whole time, who am I going to pick? You're going to pick all these big teams. It, it, it takes the life away even from the game. Like, when I play football manager, mm. I don't really like to go to the big team straight away. I like to, I like to see the Fulhams. I like to go to the, like to go to, to, to the lowly teams, you know, PSVs. I even one time I was, I was with PSV for mad long. But it's, it's, that, it's that gradual improvement of just mm. seeing your team go from there to here. Mm. And achieve big things, you know what I mean. Whereas now, nah, that's not going to be the case. And that, and that is the dream, do you know what I'm saying? Because it's always mm-hmm. a, a working class sport, do you know what I mean? Built on yeah, the traditions of people same. working hard, do you know what I'm saying? And and building themselves up to get to the level where it's, they are, winning major honors. But yeah, 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 hundred yeah. percent. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I said, like 
on paper, it the, the project looks exciting. Like to think we can see all these big teams playing against each other regularly. And I, I was even mentioning before you jumped on them, so I was like, it was funny. It's it, not sorry, not that it was funny, but it's interesting because there was always that talk where like PSG get to a final of the Champions League or they're getting far in the Champions League and then people would be like, ah, oh, but if PSG came to the Premier League, they wouldn't even get top four or if Arsenal yeah. went to the Liga, they wouldn't yeah. even make it. So now we can actually have that discussion. Let's put them all together. Let's see how people can do and then we go from there. So I see the pros from that, from that perspective. But again, uh, when you look at it logistically, it just makes no sense at the same time. I think, I think personally, if we're serious about this, but money always talks yet, yeah. and I think all the broadcasters, Sky, BT, RTV, BBC, whatever you want to call it, they should say no, but they won't because it's no. money. They won't say no because it's money. Money talks. I saw, I saw, I did see BT, I did see BT, they came out with something though. They did they did say that they're not they're not for the Super League. They didn't say they weren't gonna they weren't gonna not play their games, but they they said they're not if for the Super League. Super, if the Super League even that big, big boy cash, bro. They'll shut up and they'll take it. Mm. Well, I saw. I've, I've heard reports that basically that um, people involved with Super League they're gonna try and well uh, start broadcasting their the sort of football on Amazon, Disney, um, Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, they're gonna try to broker it. Yeah, and they're all for it because obviously they they've been trying to get the Champions League. Mm. So it's always a way. Would not put it past me. Imagine watching football on Disney. What? Disney, bro. Or even on Netflix. I couldn't even believe watching football on Amazon. I, I, I still find that weird. Mm. Yeah. I still find that weird, let alone Disney. Disney Plus. But what what what, what, what publics are we going to have, though? Because these men ain't on it. They're not, they're, not, they're not for it. So who they getting? Some American man, what? Shaq Lizlop or Craig Burley, them type of man there. Probably. The guys from ESPN or the guys that, that um, uh, work at, for the MLS, isn't it? Uh, you know what I'm saying because so, well, would, you, would, you, would, you, would you think would you think Andy Gray and Richard Keys you think they'll they'll try to pull that off as well? Possibly, but I don't I don't think they'll be for it. But they they may well do. I mean, if the money if the money's right, money talks, man. Money, money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Mm. Well, money barks, mate. Money barks, bro. You know what I'm saying? So who who knows, man? But like, it's just oh. This, like I said, the Americanism of 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 our game it just irritates me. Like the way they do things is just it's just different. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just mm. different. Like over mm. there, they don't have they don't really have derbies. They have probably like a well one or two teams in the state. It's not really competitive. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Their fans. It was it was, it was like it was. It was like um, I remember seeing Lampard. I saw an interview and how and how he was explaining how different MLS was in comparison to the Premier League. It was like them man will lose four <laughs> nil, then they will get cheered off the pitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. You look at the fans and the fans are still like, yeah, you know what I mean? Good game, like you done really well. You done really well, like you know what I mean? They yeah. just they're just there for the for for almost just like being grateful that they're able to see a football game. Singing their which is cool chart, to an extent, man. but Defense. equally it's like, bro, you're there, you're Defense. there for the competitive sport. Defence. <laughs> Defence. Or you suck, well, you <laughs> suck, you suck. Like, crap, fans. But they, in America, they have no relegation at all. Though. That is crap. Wait, even in MLS? Yeah, no relegation. So they don't. They, they don't get the table. That's it. Yeah, they don't get the concept. They don't get the concept of relegations because in their sports, all their teams are franchises. They're all franchises. Mm, that's why obviously David Beckham was able to make his own team and that. Exactly. They're all franchises. There's no relegation. You think David Beckham, yeah, would have been brave enough to start his own team if there was the threat of relegation? Because obviously, relegation it costs. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, make yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And that and that's that's risky yeah. roads. That is that is risky roads. So I don't know, man. But where, where do you guys think we we go from here? Do you think it actually be? Do you think it will actually go through? Because obviously the government have said that they'll step in if UEFA can't do anything or if FIFA can't do anything. Uh, the irony, the irony of Boris Johnson saying that this is this is to, this is the elite. You know, like 
taken on the elite. He said some stupid quote and it's like, you've got you've got balls to talk, mate. Some nerve. But um yeah, yeah, exactly. Um I don't know, man. Follow the money, follow the money. Mm. This pandemic has been unpredictable, like no tomorrow, until you follow the money and you realize everything was put in place for a reason. So for me, this is probably one of the same things as well. Like if you're getting all these people involved, it's it's for a reason. Mm. Um now whether that's gonna make it, that's gonna lead it to 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 you know to to, to go through, then who knows? But Right now, I'm not ruling nothing out. I'm not ruling nothing out because these big teams won't just start PR stunting and saying, "Yeah, you know, we're getting involved for for no reason." Especially if they know how much is going to affect the fans, because um, you can't go from we want the fans back in the stadium to now doing something like this is is it's quite quite contradicting. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not ruining anything now at the moment. So I'm not gonna really give you a yes or a no. But at the same time, I'm just gonna say I'm not I'm not, I'm not ruling anything out. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Where do you think we go from here, Ems? Hey, it's 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 a mad one to see, man. I mean, we just kind of might have to accept it, mate. Mm. We might have to accept, accept. I mean, not accept as I want it, but what can you do, mate? They make decisions, innit? But but I think, yeah, if there was no pandemic yet, I don't think, I don't think it would have been, it would have been a big deal. Well, not as big as it is now. I think when people have the mm-hmm. only reason why they're not for it. Some people might say, are they taking liberties? We're in a pandemic. The clubs down the pyramid are struggling. And you're going to bring six, six million dollars into a super league. So some people think like that. Some people might think, oh, this is not fair. This is not fair, man. Why, why are they doing an elite team for? Don't, don't they want to be competitive? Mm. So everyone got their own motive for why they don't agree with it. But I haven't heard many. I haven't heard that many people for it. I don't think I've heard anyone for it to be fair. Apart yeah. from these, uh, no, no. apart from the owners, because obviously Chelsea, yeah. Man United, all these teams have left the um, the ECA. Do you know what I'm saying? Woodward has left his role at, at um, UEFA. Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid owner. You know, he's he's been planning this for years. He's left. Apparently, the uh, you know, yeah. Juve, was it, X, oh, as chairman, snake. yeah, he's been called a snake. snake. Yeah. You know, but you know what's mad to yeah, me? Yeah. I'm, the, the respect I've lost for Madrid, Barcelona, Barcelona, more than a club, and they've done this. Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, these big oh. elite clubs. The respect, bro. It's, even Man United, like, like, like why are they doing this? It's, I, can't, I can't respect these clubs anymore. It's the owners, they isn't it? It, it, yeah. it's the owners like the, obviously the clubs have the rich history and tradition and heritage but it's the it's the owners ultimately like I can't I can't say yeah Man United do you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah like the owners sorry the owners yeah. of, the, of the club sorry the yeah. owners of the yeah. club that's a good point that's a good point yeah, but it's still it's um... I hear what you're not saying. It is the owners, but it's still the clubs, bro. They're they're the face. They're the face of the brand, and they're the ones that are gonna be. They're the ones that are gonna be in the forefront to be like, yeah, we're all for it. So yeah, maybe the owners, but I think there still needs to be some some sort of ownership to being like, guys, we need to have a meeting. Mm. Are you down? Are you down? Are you down? Are you down? Not just like cool. The owner said it because now it puts it puts a lot of people below that. Under pressure, bro. Because now, let's say, for example, Arteta gets questioned about it. What's he going to say? He can't come out and be like, no, I'm not for it. Mm. You know what I mean? Go ask Aubameyang, what do you think? He's going to be awkward to be like, yeah, you know, uh, you know. Man, I'm going to stop moving like Matt Hancock, bro. They're going to stop moving (laughs) like how the politicians are moving, bro. That's a good comparison. You know what I mean? Mm. They're not going to answer the question. They're going to start asking you the question. Well, I already told you what I think about it. Bro, yeah. what, you, bro what do you think about it? I already told you. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's just going to it's gonna make things so awkward. And yeah, I don't know. So I hear what you lot are saying in regards to it's the owners, but I feel like it, it's, it still needs to be a bit more togetherness, man. It needs to be more cohesion. Going on in these clubs as well to be like, guys, we're getting involved. Cool, we're getting involved. Everyone, Arteta, Oli, Klopp, everyone needs to come out and be like, cool, this is why we're doing it. Because then they could give some transparency, transparency, especially to the fans. Because right now, 
all the fight, bruv. Me, you guys, not fans of our clubs at the moment. Mm. So they can't just let that slide and just think, yeah, you know what? We're just going to not say anything. Boom, it's going to come out and here we are. You know what I mean? They, there needs to be some sort of transparency from the faces of the club um, to, 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 to the fans because they owe it to them to say, listen, this is why we're doing it. This is why we got involved rather than kind of hiding behind curtains at the moment. I think... I think it, I think it's not fair on the players and the manager that they get quick black. That the ones at the the, the the European Super League club asking them questions like that. How can they say live on camera they're not for it when they're getting paid by the owner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around it, no, and, it's, you know it's what I mean? It's, and it, it goes back to Liverpool's point whereby yeah, everybody needs to be consulted, have a sit down meeting, and. Ask what you know these players think about, what the managers think about. So, like you said, so there's a level of transparency. You know, we we need to know. We need to know if they're they're for it. They can't just hide behind their, you know, their 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 owners and the club and say, oh well, you know, I mean, there's not much I can say about this situation because you know it's, it, I'm not the one that makes the decisions. Like we all need to know what's going on. Do you know what I'm saying? And then obviously mm-hmm. if there's if there's a, a, an agreement or a compromise, we, we need to know. Because, you know, we're the ones that kind of, like, create the entertainment. Without the fans, football ain't, ain't the same. Do you know what I mean? No, not the same at all. We're seeing it now. We've seen how even with Sheffield United, obviously, you know, unfortunately, they, they've not made it through. But last season, it was a, it was a big... It, or even the start of the season, you know, when fans were around, um, you know, they were doing well. They were high up in the league, if I, mm. if I last even remember, at the start of the season. Um, and obviously now they're just completely tailored off and even we've seen a lot of these freak these freak results you know Aston Villa beating Liverpool 7-2 and all these things it's just like we, this would never have happened or would have rarely have happened if fans were around and they play a big big role even those games where it's like 1-0 last 10 minutes the players are not really caring they're not really giving it they're all guaranteed if there were fans there you'll see a completely sure. different squad so mm-hmm. It's 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 just one of those things where it's just like yeah you know we 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 deserve we deserve that we deserve that like at the bare minimum to to at least know okay cool Arteta what do you think about it? like let's let's put Cronky aside Cronky don't really care for Arsenal like that. we will know that so Arteta what do you think because mm. you're telling us trust the process and we're tenth in the league so what <laughs> do you think how is this gonna help us. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Trust the process. Yeah, but trust the process. This is what I keep. This is what you keep telling me, damn. Yeah. <laughs> every time, <laughs> thing, trust the time. Every time I put Arsenal's yeah, results, you will come message me, yo. Trust the process, bro. <laughs> That's. I want to know what's going on. I want to know, artists, what's really going on. Like you want, you want to do this. Thing. What are you thinking? Well, it's crazy, man. My man, them. Thanks for joining me this evening. No worries, no worries, as, no worries, as usual, no where, can, where, where can they find you guys, man? If you go first, man. Yeah, so GS Training Limited, LTD, um, both on Twitter and on Instagram. You can also find me on Facebook as well under the same name. Um, and yeah, you'll find everything you need to know about my services as a personal trainer. And you can always drop a message if you ever need any help with your fitness goals. Jeez, my guy, M's. Yeah, so Instagram is ms.wdoms and then on Twitter is msdoms. That's where you can find me. Love. It's your boy Shingi underscore London, Shingi underscore LDN. Follow the YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, I'll be making more videos soon. Just working on a few things, trying to get back into the studio now that we got our civil liberties back. But in the meantime, just subscribe to the channel. It only takes two seconds. Follow the... Uh, uh, the social handles as well, YKTS Football on Twitter and Instagram. And again, yeah, Shingi underscore LDN on Twitter and Instagram. But boy, it's the big six, Super League versus the Premier League versus UEFA, boy. We'll have to see what happens, man, in the future, boy. In the next four. It, it, it was so important. We didn't even talk about Jose Mourinho getting sacked. That's how <laughs> mad it is. Do you know what I mean? Who, who, who knew that was going to happen? I think... That team there, I'll be honest, right? I'm not surprised he got sacked. I'm just surprised about the timing. 
that he got yes, sacked because they got they got the league cup final. I think they should have given the final at least, and then uh, if they had lost that, which you probably would have liked, then you could get minimum, especially when they're trying to come out and now say, "Oh yeah, we did it because the results." It was That's the results. Right. But why are you talking about results before a final? Yeah, man. Five days before a final. I just think it, they had a disagreement about the Super League proposals and Daniel Levy said, get your coat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> get your coat. Me, yeah, man. Me, me, Percy was a poor marriage anyway. It was a poor <laughs> marriage, bro. Like, I mean, I think Tottenham were desperate for a trophy. Marino desperate to get into management and it just wasn't the right the right fit. And I think, and mm. I'm happy because he's a prick because man tried to say to Kane, oh, he got better players at Tottenham than at Man United. And where Man United, as much as I don't like Man United's football, look where Man United are and look where Tottenham are. Uh, Spurs will be Spurs anyway, but yeah, man. We'll cut it there, we'll leave it there, man. Them. Yeah. Appreciate you joining me, man. Cool, bro. Uh, right, appreciate love. it, man. Cool. Appreciate it.